everybody, welcome to Formula Essentials. My name is Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're talking about if and switch if. Both of these allow you to get different results based on your criteria. So you might use these if uh, you're looking at customers and a new customer comes in, you look at the geography and you want it to automatically be assigned to the appropriate sales rep. Or if you have a, a task and if it's three days overdue, you wanna send a reminder. It allows you to take action on certain situations. So let's take a look at these two different formulas in action. So let's start with if, because it is the more simple of the two. If is an either or. So in this case, I've got my out of office calendar. And maybe what I wanna do with this out of office calendar is if somebody marks themselves as out of the office, then I wanna put the email address for their manager so folks know who to contact. So let's take a look at the structure here. What I've done is I've said, if this rose out of office is blank, then keep that, uh, that contact as blank. And the way I've done blank here is just by putting a couple spaces in between quotation marks. Now that's the first part, that's the first option. The second part of this formula is what is the other option? Which in this case is then uh, if, if the out of office is not blank, then I want the manager's email from this row to show up. So how this works is if I say yes, now all of a sudden I see the email address from that manager. Same thing here and same thing here. So again, how that works is if you have a true state and a false state, and those are the two different parts of your formula. And again, let's just take a look at that one more time so we can have that really locked into our minds. If the row is blank, then just leave that contact area blank. Otherwise, show the email of the manager in that row. So now let's take a look at switch if, which is if's more complex and interesting cousin that's coming in visiting from out of town. What switch if allows you to do is have multiple options. So in this case, depending on the status of a task, I have a different person who should be assigned to it. So I want, if it's drafting, to be Maria. If it's ready for review, it should be Laura. Editing, Al. And I want to be able to have all of those options show up automatically so I don't have to worry about remembering, oh wait, who do we assign it to? We want to keep it really simple for everyone using this. So let's take a look at the formula that I've built here. So it starts off with saying switch if, and then we say, all right, if status is drafting, then it should be assigned to Maria. That's my first clause. Then if status is ready for review, it should be Laura. And if status is editing, it should be Al. And I could have this be as long as I wanted to. But the idea is you think about each piece and then you just put those in between uh, commas and you're ready to go. So if and switch if allow you to have your data automatically respond to what you've put into it, so you can save yourself time and not have to worry about updating multiple areas or remembering a process. The process just runs for you. With that, take a look at your own data, switch, if, and I'll see you next time.